If you need Madden coins on any platform, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. For a limited time only, use code CLICKWID for 20% off your entire order. What if I told you that I have information that will change the way that you play Madden 16 forever? Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 video. And guys, the intro to that video, this video is kind of a little bit over dramatic, but seriously, this video will change the way that you play Madden 16, unless you already came across this information yourself. But I think the vast majority of people have absolutely no idea about this. And it's something that I think is very, very important. It's definitely something that's going to help you, not only with Ultimate Team, but also with the way that you just play the game. So if you do salary cap, if you do, even if you do standard head to head without ultimate team, this video is going to help you. So guys, what I did was I actually came across this on the Madden Ultimate Team subreddit, and you guys can find the link to that in the description. I will have a link to the actual article or to the the post that was made by the person who came up with this information. So I'm not going to try and uh, you know say that I was the one who came up with it or anything like that, but uh, I will leave a link to it, like I said, in the description below. So the person who came up with this information and did the testing, his Reddit name is Bob Bobbert, and I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly, but basically what he did, guys, is he went in and did some analysis about the press and the release attributes in Madden 16. So what you're taking a look at here are some different plays that had some uh, various different results regarding press and release of players. This is just in practice mode, but um, it should give you guys at least a rough idea of what we're talking about here so you can take a look at some something Things that happened and uh, you know just get a, a rough idea these the video that you're actually taking a look at here is not actually from the uh, the testing itself so you know nothing that you're seeing here actually went into the analysis here but uh, it's just something for you guys to take a look at here while we go over this information so basically guys the information that we're taking a look at here is a combination of uh, various different attributes so what this person did was they went in and created a custom player that had some various different attributes um, so what they did was they looked at players Players that had very high press uh, and receivers that had very high press compared those together uh, high press corners and low press or low release receivers various different things like that and basically what they did was they came up with a uh, hundred or 200 in one of the results um, they, they did 200 different tests on one of these a hundred on everything else so a, a very large sample size to get kind of an idea of just how often these things actually happen and guys the information that we're going to show up on the screen here is going to change the way that you're playing this game in my opinion so the very first thing that we're going to take a look at here guys is press now, press is an attribute that I will say I typically look for, or used to look for at least, when uh, when looking at cornerbacks. So the, the press attribute, what it basically is intended to do is you're supposed to be able to push the, the wide receiver around, keep them from breaking out into their route better. Now, the results that were done here are, as you can see on the left there, cornerbacks press means the number that the, that the cornerback had and the wide receivers released. So within all of these, the wide receiver had 50 release. Now, they did 100 reps with the cornerback having zero press, 100 reps with the cornerback having 50 press, and 100 reps with the cornerback having 99 press. So you can see here that there's a little bit of a difference between each of these. But I think that the overlying arching theme that we need to take a look at here is the fact that it, there's almost no difference between 100 press or 99 press and zero press. There's only a 9% uh, success rate that uh, a difference in the success rate of the receiver actually getting off of the press so you can see obviously that uh, it's better to have a higher press or you know that's what we think at least but it's only slightly better it's only nine percent better um, when uh, when you take a look at it so in my personal opinion this attribute is when you're taking a look at these these numbers you can say that this attribute is almost irrelevant I mean there's no cornerbacks that have uh, zero press, obviously. You'd have to be looking at like a quarterback or something like that to have that low of a press. And there's almost no cornerbacks that have 50 press even. Almost everybody's going to have at least like 60, 70 press. So there's not going to be a huge difference between that 
and what you're getting at the 99 level. Because if you take a look at 50 press to 99 press, there's only a 3% difference. So three times out of 100 is it going to make a difference. That's crazy, crazy low, and that's from 50 to 99. So when you're talking about like 70s, 80s, or low 90s to 99, it's almost completely irrelevant. I'm telling you guys, if you look at the numbers, it's almost completely irrelevant. And there was also another user that actually did a test very, very similar to this and came up to almost the same exact results, and that was naughty. I, I, I guess I don't know how to pronounce this. Not butt beasts, I think is how you pronounce it, but um, there's an, a link within the article that I posted in the uh, in the description where you can click on that and you can find uh, the results from what he came up with as well. And again, he pretty much said that release or that uh, press does not matter whatsoever. So we've came to the conclusion that an extremely important attribute or one that we looked at and we thought was extremely important is almost completely irrelevant. So that's a pretty crazy thing. Now, the flip side of this is we want to take a look at release. Now, release is almost a completely different story, and this is definitely one that I thought was pretty interesting because it's not what I was expecting. I was actually expecting that press was going to matter a lot and release was not going to matter that much. It's almost completely the opposite, though. So in this case, guys, as you can see here in the first row, you're going to see that the cornerbacks were all given 50 for press and the wide receivers, they went up from 0 to 50 to 99, so almost the exact same thing. But this person actually did 200 reps of the cornerbacks with 50 press versus the wide receivers with 99 release. So, uh, you know, you got a bigger sample size there to try and get a more accurate representation of exactly what's going on. Now, in this case, we're going to actually see that the press, the 50 press versus zero release, zero times out of 100 did the receiver get off that press. That's crazy. So granted, there's no receivers that have zero release. I, I understand that. But there are a lot of receivers that have low release. And so when we take a look at the 50 one, that one only got off the press 10 times. So 50 is a lot closer to what the average is actually going to be for some of these lower end receivers. And when you start to look at guys that even have like 70s and 80s, so somewhere between the 50 and the 99 here, you're going to see that the numbers are probably going to fall kind of, uh, you know, along that scatter plot, roughly at least, between 50 to 99. So it's kind of interesting. Now, one thing that I thought was really, really interesting about this is that when you have a receiver that has 99 release and he's going up against a corner that doesn't have a high uh, press attribute, you're going to actually see that the the receiver is going to get off the press very, very often. 45% of the time is he going to just beat the crap out of that bad press. So that's really, really interesting. We've definitely found that release definitely does matter for wide receivers. There is a very clear difference between the low end and the high end for release. So release is an attribute that you should certainly be looking for at wide receiver, especially with all the people running man-to-man -man coverage in this game right now. It's extremely, extremely important that we uh, that we look at the release attributes so that we can get off of those presses and get out and you know beat their team deep or uh, even just beat them on an out route or a slant or anything like that. Uh, it's very, very important to have guys with high release, whereas press is not very important at all. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, do me a favor and click the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm going to have another pretty interesting video I think that should help you guys with your salary cap teams tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. I don't know if it's going to be quite as dramatic as this one, but again, be on the lookout for it anyways. Uh, and guys, be sure to go over to the Madden Ultimate Team subreddit and uh, give some support to Bob Bobbert and to Not But Beasts because those guys were really the ones that came up with this video this idea here and we're able to test it and everything like that it's very similar to what we did with Mythbusters in Madden 15 so uh, all credit to them again they really came up with a great idea for the video and I think it's going to help a hell of a lot of people so again guys if you enjoyed this one uh, make sure that you go over there and give them some love over on the Madden Ultimate Team subreddit that place is actually where you can find a ton of information by the way not to do like a full advertisement for that or anything but I mean definitely a place where you can find some really good 
info, help you out, get better at the game, find some plays that work, find players that work, things like that. And every once in a while, you come across some amazing gems like this that are extremely, extremely helpful. So uh, thanks again. Shout out to those guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks so much, guys. And I will talk to you guys again soon.